Now, in a major breakthrough in the police sub-inspector recruit recruitment examination case in Karnataka, the CID has detained a DSP level officer for his alleged involvement in the scam. As per the sources, DSP Shanta Kumar served for nearly 12 years in the recruitment wing and was in charge of the strong room where the answer sheets were stored. Kumar was in charge of over 20 exam centers and had to supervise the allotment of the centers as well as issue the hall tickets. And I'm being joined by my colleague Neha Hibali live on the broadcast who's reporting from Bengaluru. Neha, a very good morning to you. Clearly a big headway in the probe. And you know, this is this arrest, uh, what makes it all the more crucial is that he uh, was a deputy SP rank officer. Now, there are several charges that have been leveled against this particular officer. One is that uh, uh, he tampered with the OMR sheets. Now, how true is it? Do we have any proof as yet? How true are these allegations that have been made against these uh, top cops. Which are more than allegations at this point in time, considering that this officer has been arrested by the CID, it's understandably so that you know they do have some ground or some uh, you know enough evidence to have actually picked him up. Now these aren't you know these allegations that are being made right now, but it's important now, of course, you know, to mention over here that even as he has been arrested, there are several other charges against him that are being probed at this point in time. Of course, the first being the fact that you know uh, there's no doubt here that yes, he had tampered with the OMR sheets. There's also now uh, you know charges coming. In or of him uh, being in charge of the strong room where, you know, all of the examination papers were kept and how did, you know, he really, of course, manage to get away with this entire, uh, you know, forging of papers or how did he really manage to get away with this, uh, you know, with all of this? That is something that's being questioned right now because let's tell you that, you know, for the rank of a DYSP, this isn't, uh, you know, this, this is quite a high rank for a police officer and now questions are being raised about whether he was, uh, you know, being protected by some political whether he had the backing of some senior politicians and is that how he really went on to to sort of, you know, carry out this entire uh, case. So, that apart also, it's important, uh, you know, to again bring back the fact that this case is something that it started with, you know, a few candidates uh, being in the police net and after which we saw how several politicians also were arrested in this matter, a few of the Congress wing presidents and apart from that also, you know, we saw a BJP leader also who was arrested. Now, while the matter has turned political, that's one aspect of things. The larger question is how many more officers and how many more politicians are likely to fall in this, uh, you know, a loop of being arrested now? Because this isn't something now that's just merely restricted to a few candidates who managed to sort of, you know, secure a good rank over here by faking or by paying money and, you know, getting uh, false answer sheets. But this is a much larger racket now. And while the CID is investigating, we'll have to wait and see if any more names, bigger names also now come out of this entire probe. Well, clearly, as Neha put it out, as the CID investigation continues, only time will tell how many more skeletons to tumble out in this PSI scam that has jolted the state of Karnataka. Thank you for all those updates, Neha.